the Lizzie Gang reaction video today. Hey, 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 hey. Vibing with Lizzie World. Vibing with Lizzie World. Reaction and reviews. Finally got to see Strowman versus Keith Lee. And that whole match was just crazy. I thought, um, I really wish we would have saw a winner in this match. Really? But, um, it was it was just sad though because why? Wow. You know, Strowman. You know, he, he's always the powerhouse. So it was kind of it was kind of bad when um, Strowman he gave Keith Lee a low blow. I mean, yeah. at first, the match was good, but I guess once Keith Lee was this working on Strowman Monday. Bridge, I guess that made him mad. So, yes, um, Strowman, he did a low blow to him. And then I was like, dang, that was that was messed up, though. That, that, that was really messed up. But then Strowman, um, he, did the, he did his big slam, and he did the big boot for the victory. So then after the match... I thought it was thought it was cool. Keith Lee returned the favor by giving him a low blow. So you know mm-hmm. how I feel. So I was like, man, man, that was that was crazy. Another part of this show that I liked was um when the Miz was talking about what Otis and he was basically saying okay. like Otis does not deserve the money in the bank briefcase because he's I mean, everything the Miz said was right. Like the Miz he's been in WWE for so long, when he won Money in the Bank briefcase, he cashed it in on Orton. I remember that day. That was a crazy day, and all the fans was just was just shocked. I was shocked too. I was like, "Damn!" Like he cashed in on Orton. So I guess you know, Otis, he's not really doing nothing with the briefcase. He's just you know going around you're not finding all the remote in here it as a lunch box thank you which i think you know he really shouldn't you know he should really you know try to up, win please. the title what you doing the page right That's about why right i kept saying like aj styles should thank have won you the uh, money in the bank briefcase this shouldn't have been oldest because he's not really doing nothing with it um we had another um good we had a we had a concert y'all we had yep elias Elias had a concert, and it was it was it was pretty good though. Um, his first song he did was "Amen" from his new album "Universal Truth." Comes out next Monday. Um, he did his second song "Lead Me Home." That was a both his songs was was pretty cool too. He had his band out there; they was all jamming with the guitars and all like that. The out comes Jeff Hardy. And he almost hit Elias with that with that guitar because last week Elias hit him with a guitar and I was like, damn, these guitars, like they are so so um they they break so easy. <laughs> I like it must be some cheap guitars or something. Mm-hmm. But um that was that was that was pretty that was pretty cool to see Elias though because he hasn't been wrestling in a long time. He said, "Go down on the remote." Um, we had Kofi Kingston versus Up, Sheamus, right there. And one of the, I guess, one of the funny things was they show um Biggie, that's um his partner from New Day on on like one of those screens because they got the virtual fans in the ring. So I thought that was cool. This was a pretty good match though. It I was. Really, I just thought that. Maybe Seamus would have won because he really do he really do um need this victory since he got drafted on What's Raw. What's wrong? What's going to win? As Kofi was saying, you know, Seamus hasn't been on Raw in nine years, so I really thought Give maybe her the remote they please and let her put on what she wanna watch, please, for a second. To, um, to Thank you. But Kofi came out on top for this victory. It was a it was a really good back and forth match. Kofi is still showing why he can hang with everybody, even though he is a part of the tag team champions. But, he is. You know, Kofi was saying the power of positivity is never over. So I was just like, okay, you know, that is true. Kofi and Xavier Woods are the tag team champions until somebody beats them. So. That should be very interesting. And also, we will be having Elias versus Jeff Hardy 
at Hell in the Cell. So right on the back of the paper, sweetie. Well Next, we had Lana versus Oscar for the Women's Championship. I just, I couldn't believe that. I said, man, like, come on now. Like, Lana, I was like, I would have rather them let them have Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans yeah, should have won that, that battle people. last week. But it was Lana. She eliminated the back Natalia. of it. I'm going to tell you thought. She had everybody pinned. But here we go, y'all, with the Lana and Oscar for the Women's Championship Excuse match. me, my children's in my room. Lana escaped the Oscar lock the first time. She escaped it. She got to the ropes, and the referee was like, all right, back up, back up. Then Lana started doing these go. big Good night. To Oscar. Go. Then Don't do that, please. Count. I was like, okay. But then y'all know what happened. Oscar turned it around, doing that, doing that big kick to her. So that really stunned Oscar. But then, um, Oscar, no, Where's then what? Lana did this big elbow. And I was like, whoa, okay. What like, box? Lana know these bad Lift elbows it up. like Oscar. She was hanging in there for a little bit. It's the but ink the time that you put in the Perno. Oscar got that Oscar lock on her. And that was it, boy. She tapped out. Then, of course, out of nowhere, Nia Jax, she attacks Lana again, y'all. And she puts she Lana did? through a table yet again. I said, what is going on? Like, I couldn't believe that. Like, they must really like that, that idea of just putting Lana through a table. So, that's what they did. That, that's exactly what they did. So they did. I was like, wow. what else next? Then um, Shayna, she tried to attack um Oscar, but Oscar knocked her out the ring, and she just went on up the stage. And I was like, I got Shayna coming for her title as well too. So I said that will be good. Um, we had Drew McIntyre. He was being interviewed about Orton. Said he met him when he was twenty. Saying he is evil, care about nobody but himself. So that's true. That's Orton. So they're gonna meet up at Hell in the Cell. And I and I honestly hope that this is the last time that they're facing. Cause um Drew McIntyre has beaten Randy Orton in, in three straight pay per views. So I'm just hoping that this is the last time we get to see this. And then we had a match for the women's tag team titles. It was Nia and Shayna versus Riot Squad. Versus Dana, Mandy Rose versus Kate Voice, and Lacey Evans. I was like, whew, okay. <laughs> this was a pretty good entertaining match, though. Riot Squad was flying around the ring trying to knock everybody out. Hey. But, you know, um, Naya and Shayna were still dominating, still knocking people out. Dana, Mandy Rose was looked good, but it was just too much. Um, it, too much Naya and Shayna. It really was. Just too much. And, um, yeah, they got the victory. So I will say Lacey Evans, boy, her woman's right hand is so vicious. It is? I I personally like to see Lacey versus Oscar. I think that would be a good match, though. You think that so? Would be a good, that would be a good physical match, though. So I'm hoping soon we can see that match. I'm, I'm really hoping so. And we had Matt Riddle versus AJ Styles. Um, this was a good match. Um, you know, AJ Styles came out there with the bodyguard. And, you know, I was like, what is this? Like, AJ coming out oh, with a bodyguard? Like, this, this it about to be a commercial. So, um. I'm going to look something up. You're singing along to Beba Doobie's video. You go to look up the lyrics, but the music stops. YouTube Premium has background play. So you can switch apps and keep listening. Try YouTube Premium with one month free and sing uninterrupted. What's wrong, Olivia? They they start the match finally once the bodyguard got out the ring. The... All right. 